Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I, I came across a few changes that they've made when I was uh, doing a new install and I just figured I'd share them out. So this is the new uh, virtual box. If you look at the top left here, the, the icon has changed. So you can see it's, it's a different icon from what they used to have before. And if I can find a picture here of the old one. So this is the, this is the old one that we're used to and this is the, the new one that he changed to. And let's go to the uh, download site and see what they have, what options. We'll uh, Google for VirtualBox download. And if you go to virtualbox.org, so the options they have here are still for the different operating system. We have Windows, Mac OS, Linux. And so for instance, if you want, if you want to download for Windows, you click on Windows Host here and it will download it. So the newest version is seven. Let me just cancel this. So the newest version is 7.1.4. This is the newest version. That's what I'm running. If you go to help here, you also go to and go to about VirtualBox. This is the new look and this is the version right here. Now, what you'll see for those who've used VirtualBox before, when you go to install a new machine, so these icons haven't changed, but if you, let's say we do new, Right away, you can see there's some changes here. For instance, they added these options here, which were not there before. Let's create a, just a test. Let's create a dummy machine here. Let's see what options are there. So again, this is the folder where you're gonna install that, the, the VM or virtual machine. Here you can select your ISO image. Here you can select the type, for instance, if you're going with Linux, this is where you will select it. Then they have the subtype, let's say we're doing uh, Debian. Then here you also have options here. And then after, after that, if you wanted to add, so if you needed to add like memory information, this is where you would add it. And also the CPU information, this is where you adjust it. The hard disk is here. And here you can increase the hard disk if you want it. So you have these options here. So this is the new look. If you wanted to do unattended install, this is where you go. Again, this is where we put the name and selected the folder and the ISO image. Once you're done with that, you'll click finish. And now that we have the virtual machine created, let's go into the settings and see if there's any changes. So if you right click on it and go to settings, again, you see there's a new look in this window that pops up, you have two options now. We have the basic and then the expert option. So the basic is got a fewer options than the expert options. If you click basic, you see there's less options. With expert, there's a few more options for us. So you can just scroll down through the options and select whatever options you want. As you're scrolling down, it's also scrolling down here, or you can just go to the specific option and just select it and make whatever changes you have to make. There's not a lot of uh, changes here. There's a few here and there that you might run into. So there's not a lot of changes here. It's just that they you know, gave us two options. You can go with the basic, which is what most systems are gonna need. And then if you need more items, uh, if you need more features, you can go with expert and then you can select whatever options that you need to select for your virtual machine. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to cover some of the changes that I'm seeing on our VirtualBox. And next time you install VirtualBox, hopefully you like the new look or maybe you not like it. Anyways, I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.